Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly meal plan episode. If you're new here, this is just a really quick episode where each week I share what's on my meal plan for my family for the upcoming week. I just think meal planning is really important to living a frugal life and um, wasting less food and reducing stress in your day for trying to figure out what's for dinner. So um, my meal plan that I share here is on my blog post, um, or there's a blog post for the meal plan um, each week, which is, you can find any links to recipes that I mentioned in this meal plan. Um, that can be found at lolasfrugallife.com. I do rotate my meals on a regular basis, so you're not always going to hear like new recipes every week. Um, and I do try and throw in something new here and there, but my main priority is just having a plan in place so that I know what I'm cooking. And um, I try and kind of keep it, my meal plan really simple. So I do rotate things frequently. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, December 4th. So for Saturday, I am making a recipe called My Chili. It's from allrecipes.com. And I honestly, I can't remember if I've made this chili before, but it's sound, it's got really good reviews and it sounds like it's really easy to make. Um, it's just like your basic chili recipe with ground beef and beans and tomatoes and things like that. Um, so I'm gonna give that a try and see how that comes out. And then on the side, this is kind of an un unusual um, combination, but I'm gonna make bow tie primavera, um, like a pasta dish on the side with the chili. That's from delish.com. And I'm gonna make that because one of my um, daughters doesn't eat meat, so I figured she can have that um, bow tie pasta with the vegetables, and then the rest of us can have the chili, and of course we can have some of the pasta too if we want. Um, for Sunday, I actually don't have a meal plan because we're going to be going out to dinner for my son's birthday. So whenever we are ordering out dinner, I don't have a meal plan to share, which is, it's just, which is very infrequently. We pretty much only go out to dinner for birthdays and things like that. Um, but this is my real life meal plan. So since I don't have a meal planned for that day, I don't have one to share. For Monday, we're going to be doing hamburgers. Um, we do hamburgers every other Monday. So... The hamburgers, I don't have a recipe to share um, with you. I pretty much just take ground beef and make it into patties and cook them up. Um, I'm also going to be making homemade black bean veggie burgers, which is from allrecipes.com for my daughter that doesn't eat the hamburgers. And then I'm also going to be doing oven fresh seasoned potato wedges, which is also from allrecipes.com. Those are really good, um, easy potatoes to make in the oven um, while I'm cooking the hamburgers on the stovetop. So that's going to be for Monday. Um, for Tuesday, I'm going to be doing sheet pan chicken fajitas. We rotate through, I think I have about five recipes now, um, like Mexican theme that I rotate through on Tuesdays. So this week's going to be the sheet pan chicken fajitas. That's from foodnetwork.com. And that's just your basic sheet pan um, fajita recipe. You know, it's like the chicken and the um, peppers and onions and some uh, seasoning. And then I'm going to make quinoa and black beans from allrecipes.com as a side dish um, for us that are having the fajitas and then also um, for a main dish for my daughter that doesn't eat meat. And then I'm also gonna just be doing a Caesar salad um, on the side, just the type that you buy at the grocery store that um, comes with all the toppings and everything in the bag. For Wednesday, I'm gonna be doing fried flounder. Again, this is another one I don't have a recipe for, but I just buy the frozen flounder, um, like the individually um, frozen pieces um, from BJ's. It's like a wholesale club like Costco or whatever and um, I just bread it and fry it and then I'm going to be trying a new recipe to go with it as a side dish this week which is called mushroom rice and that's from budgetbites.com. It's um, budgetbytes.com and it just it, it's basically like um, rice with um, butter and garlic and mushrooms and some other seasonings. So that looked like it would be a good side dish to go with that. And then I'm also just gonna do a bag of frozen vegetables. I usually keep some of those like steam fresh type um, vegetables in the freezer that I could just throw something in the microwave real quick. For Thursday, it's gonna be breakfast for dinner. I usually do either breakfast for dinner or um, soup and grilled cheese for dinner that night because that's when I go grocery shopping. So I try and keep the cooking um, pretty quick and easy. So for Thursday, we're gonna be doing turkey bacon in the oven, which is from brunded.com. And it's just telling you how to cook turkey bacon in the oven. You could do it with regular bacon too. Um, I always bake it now because it's just so much easier than having to clean up and like stand over a frying pan and cook it that way. 
um, and it comes out I think just as good so I like it in the oven now and then I'm just gonna do scrambled eggs and then home fried potatoes in the air fryer so I don't have a recipe for the for the potatoes in the air fryer but what I do is I just cut up um, some potatoes peppers and onions and just dice them up and put them in a bowl and mix it with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper and then I just throw them in the air fryer and I cook them on the default heat which I think is like 350 um, I start with 15 minutes and I kind of mix them up and see how much longer it seems like they need to cook and then I just kind of add more time until they're at the right consistency you know like where they're soft enough um, where the potatoes have cooked long enough uh, so that's for Thursday and then the last day of the meal plan is Friday so for Friday I'm gonna be making Italian chicken roll-ups this is from tasteofhome.com I haven't made these in a really long time actually um, but this is like a chicken a breaded chicken breast and you um, you roll um, deli ham and provolone cheese like in the center like you make like a roll up and then I think you dip it in the breadcrumbs afterwards and bake it I forget exactly um, the process of making this recipe but it's basically like a roll up you know with the meat and the cheese rolled into the center of the chicken breast and then as a side dish I was going to do cheesy instant pot rice and vegetables that's from the salty marshmallow.com I've been making this um, somewhat frequently now um, it's a pretty quick easy rice um, recipe to do in the instant pot and it's got the vegetables in it and cheese and everything else so it makes like a decent side like a substantial side that my daughter can often just kind of eat that mostly for her meal the one that doesn't eat the chicken so that's it for this week's meal plan I hope this was helpful or inspired you to get your meal plan together um, don't forget you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at Lola's frugal life at gmail.com you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lola's Frugal Life. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can find um, the blog post for this meal plan at lolasfrugallife.com. And you can also find the blog post for all of my other regular um, Monday episodes on the website also. We have a private listeners group at facebook.com slash group slash Lola's Frugal Life. I'd love to have you join. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I can see that you're listening. Also, if you can take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, that would be really helpful to me. Those ratings and reviews are what allow other listeners to find the show, and I'm really trying hard to grow my audience. So I would really appreciate if you could take a couple of seconds to do that for me. That's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a really awesome day.